Orelevatus! What's up, Penny? It's now time for the Lucifer the End co-drift review in this exciting episode of... It's the third limit break ring after burn and volcano. It has a triangular shape that is relatively smooth. The end is about as wide as a non-activated burn because when burn's limit break turns on, it's the widest layer in all of the burst series. To activate its limit break gimmick, these two tabs underneath it needs to be pushed in. When activated, its side slowers down and becomes free spinning. The upper part of its sides becomes free spinning as well. To learn more about the ins and outs of the limit break system in general, Please watch the Burn Hyperion Cho XC Plus X Review Part 1. Here's Burn. Here's Volcano. Here's the end. As you can see, the end is the heaviest amongst the three, which is a good sign. Using the Spriggan chip on burn, using the Spriggan chip on volcano, using the Spriggan chip on the end. As shown, the end exposes its sparking chip's teeth even lower than burn, which gives it the worst burst resistance amongst the three. Using Ko, It hardly budged Tempest at all. In limit break mode, its attacks are even weaker due to its free spinning contact points. Using Cho, The heavier Cho hit a little bit harder, but it still isn't enough to make it competitively viable. In Limit Break Mode, It's the same story as using Ko in Limit Break Mode. Using Rage 3A Its hits are still the hardest even if it spins opposite Tempest. Even when not in limit break mode, the end smooth perimeter with minimal recoil points is just not suitable for attack. Using Cho Its relatively smooth perimeter 
provided good defense against Rage 3 Ace attacks. In limit break mode, Aside from improved knockout resistance complements of its free spinning parts, there were instances wherein it was the one knocking back Rage 3A. Using Infinite Shield, like with the end, its free spinning 2B chassis helps deflect some of Rage 3A's attacks. As shown, its limit break mode is very good for knockout defense. Therefore, using Cho not only gives it the heaviest compatible disc, but also makes its gimmick activate faster at just the first click. However, it doesn't mean it's totally impervious to attacks as Rage 3A is just too powerful in generating recoil. Against Tempest, It was just no match for the current top dog in same spin stamina. To view the full 10 round battles, please go to the topmost pinned comment in the comment section. Against Phoenix, It was still no match for the former king of same spin stamina. Against Infinite Shield, it was still outclassed even with a non top tier ring for same spin stamina. Based on these results, outspinning opponents is not the end's forte. Against Wheel 1S Mobius, it did well here by winning two more rounds overall. In limit break mode, It didn't do as well as it had twice the losses overall. Mobius doesn't rely too much on a disc or chassis that lowers its center of gravity to maximize LAD. Instead, it relies on two things. First, how awakened or flat its tip is. Second, the overall balance of its other parts. To illustrate, a legally flat tip Mobius will more often than not topple over at the last second when on Rage 3A than say on a World Wheel 1S combo. LAD is technically defined as a combo's ability to continue spinning on its side after it has fallen over. The problem with O and Mobius is that if it falls over, it doesn't have as much LAD as compared to Wheel 1S. On regular mode, most of its wins were due to it being able to stay upright at the last moment while world toppled over. On limit break mode, 
it had more instances wherein it toppled over first. Hence, World Wheel 1S was able to out-LAD it. Against 2D bearing, it did well by scoring one more round over World. In limit break mode, It did even better by winning 3 more rounds overall. Unlike Mobius, Bering relies on a disc or chassis that lowers its center of gravity to maximize LAD. Furthermore, Bering cannot stay upright until the last moment due to the inverted triangle shape of its tip. Therefore, it boils down to who has more precession and LAD. Here, O beat an awakened 2D due to its more smoother underside in both its regular and limit brake mode. Against 2D rise, It didn't do as well by losing 4 more rounds overall. In limit break mode, it did much worse by losing 5 more rounds overall. Like bearing, Rice also relies on a disc or chassis that lowers its center of gravity to maximize LAD. Unlike bearing, it can stay upright until the last moment due to the stationary ring on its base. In both its regular and limit brake modes, O lost many close battles, which means that an awakened 2D is slightly better when paired with rice. It has a symmetrical design, but when compared to both Cho and O, its sides have less metal than both, giving it less outward weight distribution. With regards to weight, here's Cho. Here's O. Here's Ko. As shown, Ko is the lightest amongst the Limit Break Disc Trio. Here's Cho. Here's O. Here's Ko. Based on these unscientific results, Ko has the worst same spin performance due to both its lightweight and lack of outward weight distribution. Ko has its arrow set on the number 3 indicator, which means that when used on the end, the limit break gimmick will activate on the third click. When used on burn, it also activates on the third click. However, when used on the left spin volcano, it will activate on the first click. When using Cho on the end, its limit break will activate on the first click. On burn, it's also the same. However, when using Cho on volcano, its limit break will activate on the third click. 
when using O on the end, its limit break will activate on the second click. On burn, it's the same. On volcano, it's also the same. So if you want the end to activate its gimmick faster, in order to improve its knockout defense and its anti-spin equalizing property, use Cho. For burn, activating its gimmick means less attack power, so use Ko. For volcano, use Ko for more knockout defense at the cost of stamina. In the Helios Volcano O Zone Dash Plus Z Review Part 1, it was shown that both Cho and O have poor LAD when paired with Mobius. Will Ko suffer the same fate? Using O, It did well here by winning two more rounds overall. Using Cho, it did worse by losing two more rounds overall. Using Ko, It did the worst by losing 3 more rounds overall. Based on these results, O gives the best LAD when paired with Mobius. Using O against 2D bearing, it did well by scoring 1 more point over World. Using Cho, it did very poorly by losing 5 more rounds overall. Using Ko, It did the worst as it had virtually no chance at all. This shows that O is the only option when using Berry. And that's Lucifer the end of part 1, Vatos! Tune in again for part 2 featuring the Lucifer 2 chip and the Drift Driver. Same Papa Bay time, same Papa Bay channel.